In this example, we're going to look at ways in which we can fully define a sketch. Fully defining a simple sketch is relatively straightforward. We can use a combination of the Smart Dimension tool and Sketch Relations. But how about if our sketch is a little bit more complicated, such as the spline which has been used to create the initial loft feature. If we go into this sketch, we can see that currently the spline is underdefined. I'm free to select the spline, move the points around and also adjust the spline handles. Luckily, we have some tools in SOLIDWORKS which can help us to fully define this spline for us. If we go up onto the main tools menu, underneath dimensions, we have an option called fully defined sketch. In the dialog box, which appears on the left hand side, we choose the point at which we want to fully define this sketch from, which for me is currently set to the origin, how we want the dimensions to appear, above, below, to the right or to the left of the sketch, and also what sketch relations we want to allow SOLIDWORKS to add for us. We can also choose whether we want to fully define the sketch in one go or just by selected entities. I'm going to select a single spline and hit calculate. You'll see that it puts on two dimensions for me. These two dimensions are just defining that one single spline point in between my start point and my end point. If I had a more complicated spline, it would obviously add more dimensions in for me. If we look at the spline, although it's fully gone black, the handles are still blue, indicating that I can move them around. You can see that I can increase and decrease the intensity of this spline handle. If I go back onto my Smart Dimension tool and select the end point of a handle, I can actually dimension this as well. So as you see at the moment, if I put 230 mil in, it's increasing the intensity of that handle. If I reduce that value, it obviously reduces the intensity. Let's just do the same for the second uh, point on the spl spline as well and, uh, in and define that intensity. So select the end point, click to place your dimension and type in the value. That defines the intensity. At the moment though, I'm still free to move the angle of the handle. The intensity is fixed, but I can still move the angle. So if we go back onto our Smart Dimension tool again, select the end point, and this time select a second reference line, you'll see that I can actually add an angle in as well. So let's just define this as being 30 degrees. I'm going to do the same again on my second handle, click the end point, and then select a reference line, and let's just define that as being 21 degrees. This section of spline handle, or spline should I say, is now defined and I'm free to exit the sketch and rebuild my part.